Hello everybody, Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, here with the Soldier series for Mass Effect 2. An import soldier from the first Mass Effect into Mass Effect 2. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all my videos. That being said, let's get down to it. Okay. Import ME1 character. We'll do this one. Okay, I just play on casual. I'm um i'm just a chill gamer i don't go hardcore or insanity i'm just casual player so name frank we've followed the paragon path rex survived on vermeyer Caden Malenko was killed on vermeyer and the council was saved by commander shepherd during the attack on citadel all right here we go Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. One month after the devastating death attack on the... I can't read that fast. I'm sorry. Y'all are going to have to read it for yourselves because I, I can't read that fast. Engaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm, looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Will the Alliance get here in time? 
need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttle. I'll take care of Joker. Commander! Ashley, go! Now! Aye, aye. Here we go. Mayday! 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 This is SSV Normandy! We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy! Come on, baby, hold together. Hold together. Okay, now I always thought this part was cool. You could actually see the hole. That is just so cool that you can do that. That you can see that. That is such a nice touch to this. And then watch this, you can move the chairs around too. Because you're in zero gravity, you can just move those chairs around like that. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. You say that, but... The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack. Yeah. Oh, shit! Damn. <laughs> I don't know why this scene is just so cool. They really put some el elbow grease into this. Bioware and EA put a lot of elbow grease into this scene. Okay, so the Genesis is an interactive comic where you can just uh, choose the choose what happened in the first game. I never do it. Because I already played the first game. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as
This was kind of a nice touch, too, to see the vitals of Shepard. Okay. So, I'm just going to accept the imported face. I never make my own face. I'm going to be a soldier. And what do I want for... Um... So... We might do barrier, why not? Because I think you get the ammo power through soldier. He's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Steps pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. Oh, there just happened to be a pistol in the locker, you know? Grab the pistol and you don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and arm. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those canisters will keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from Someone's the Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Okay, like let, let me take a look. See what I got here. I got disruptor ammo. We'll do you. And you. Okay. Oh, it's right bumper. Nice. Nice. I got the headshot. That was pretty cool. With those mechs, if you get the headshot, they blow up. Boom. Boom. Nice work, Shepard. Coast is clear. Okay. We're going to go in here. I don't think there's anything. There isn't. These guys are just going to get murdered. I mean, you, you saw it in the last run I did. Boom. Down we go. Run through the fire. Well, yeah, we're Commander Shepard. We're we're doing better than great, no? Boom! <laughs> That's how you do that. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject. 
to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Yeah, I bet they do, Miranda. I bet they do show promise. I'll take that. Right? Yeah. I I would want that too, Wilson. Wait, shouldn't you be a volleyball? <laughs> I can't figure Miranda out. This project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress we've made. But she's still the same old ice queen. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become a new favorite. Maybe. You never know about her. Get over here. On target. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. I just woke up. You probably know more than I do. Right, sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. to get the hell off this station what's the quickest way to those shuttles depends where the mechs are thickest it's probably best if we check check anyone on this frequency anybody still alive out there hello wilson this is jacob i'm here with commander shepherd just took out a wave of mechs over in d-wing shepherd's alive how the hell never mind you need to get him out of there get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Okay. Sorry about that. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Okay. Grab me a clip. Jacob needs his points used. There we go. You can ha already have it. Okay. They've seen it. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Where are you going? You're going this way. Okay, so I'm just running through this because in the first series I played um, as the engineer, I did all this. Okay. Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. 
How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the... Save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right? We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Firing. We can over. Clear a path. That's it. Let's get out of here. I remember the well, okay, we're we now. Down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss, but after we've saved our butts. Okay. Why is that so satisfying? Shooting the max in the head. I, I don't I don't understand why that is so satisfying, but it is. And we'll just overload all their asses. Take the data pad, take the wall safe. Okay. Okay. That's everything here on the station. So, we'll go ahead and get out of here. Come on, through here. We're almost at the. Miranda, but you were. Oh! Shot through the heart! Dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. 
I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Okay. What blows my mind is they gave Miranda a camel toe. I don't know how they got away with that, but they did. <laughs> Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel, after the Alliance saved the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? Humanity was offered a spot on the Council. I recommended Captain Anderson for the position. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Counselor Anderson. Though from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. Still, good to know that the human council member isn't going to put politics ahead of defense. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. All right, now we need to go talk to the elusive man. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Nothing you say is going to convince me to trust you. I need more than words. Right? I'd be disappointed if I could persuade you that easily. Go and see for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. 
Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. Right? You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Hey, guy. I'm going to save the points for combat mastery. That way, then, I can max it out because you always want to do your class skill first. Miranda and Jacob really don't have anything to say here, so... But really, I could use the points for them now that I'm thinking about it. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Okay. I wanted those uh, Paragon points. That's what I really wanted. Because I'll be doing the um, Paragon path. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Right? Well, it's time to drop your cocks and grab your socks. Let's get the hell going here. Oh, I didn't see that second one. I didn't see that second one. There we go. Shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. We're not alone here. Do you think? No. Bypass the save. There we go. We 
We've been spotted. Stop right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me hit. Hey, it's Sally! Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that. you're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down! This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me, it was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young Quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Hey, guy. Here we go. There's a squad of security drones up there. I forgot about Miranda. Okay. I know where to go, so I don't need to really push that button. To veto first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. That's just to teach you how to um, get your squad into cover. You don't really use it a lot. I I'm sure there are strats to use it, but I don't really need to use it. Oh. Oh. 
heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Do you think, Miranda? Fuck. So we'll disrupt her ammo. Boom, that's how you take that son of a bitch down. Here's Tally saying This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Okay, we'll check that out here in a second. We just wanna um check around for items. Like that wall safe and those power cells. Battery. There we go. This is valuable. We want that? We want this. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No. 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 Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms, they took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. That's some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup.
Shepard, good work on freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Right? Diplomacy is great when it works, but <laughs> difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Council and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Miranda and Jacob aren't enough? How many do you need to keep me in check? I've made it clear to Miranda and Jacob that you're in charge. You decide who joins your squad. Everyone else on this list was chosen specifically for this mission. They're the best. I'll do the best I can with what you've given me. I'm sure you will. Before you go, two things. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? Right. I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Oh shit, it's Joker! I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Severus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Ooh. Yeah, it is. I guess we'll have to give her a name. And we will. <laughs> D, what's the name gonna be? I wonder. Okay. Well, that's it of that.
Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Yeah, that's true. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. I would love to have Edie, you know, like in my house. That would be pretty cool. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them, especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice, nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Yeah, 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 I know where everything is. Yes, I know about it. Jesus, I, they really think I'm that stupid? You use the elevator to go up and down. Fucking A, dude. That's why they want you to get Morden first, so you can unlock the um, tech lab. Now we just need to explore the ship. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. Right? You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. Yeah, you were such a downer. <laughs> Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay. Messages. We get one from Anderson. Oh, come on over to the Citadel. I want to see you. Lucif Man. Oh, I made a deal with Zaid Masani. Go meet with him on Omega. Okay. 
Um, Project Firewalker. Um, since we're being funded by Cerberus, they want us to check out their Project Firewalker. They lost contact with their survey ship. They want us to see what's going on. Admiral Hackett found out we're alive, probably from Anderson. Um, he wants us to go lay out a monument to the at the Normandy crash site. We'll do that later. Um, we get the recon hood from the elusive man. So, um, we'll take a look at that. Uh, he wants us to also check out Project Overlord. He wants to see what's going on with that. It went off the grid, and he wants to see what's going on with that. He also gave us the arc projector, which is like a lightning gun kind of deal, which we end up using a lot. Um, he also made a deal with Kasumi Goto. She's at Citadel wanting to meet with us. Okay. And we get all our money from the first game. Well, we get 100,000 credits for completing the first game and importing the character. So, there we go. So, we're going to come down here. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel, you did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Okay. And we want to go into the medical lab. Head bay here. Hey, it's Dr. Chocolate. Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Okay. Just to get the quest, that's all. That's the only reason I did that, just to get the quests. And to get the Paragon points, them don't hurt nothing either. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced, for a human. 
Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Oops, I kind of screwed up on that. That's okay. Okay. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. Uh. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. Uh. Okay, then we'll talk to Jacob, and then we'll get going here. And we'll set up Shepard, too, for weapons. been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. We're ready to go now. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Didn't have any. Yeah, I didn't think we did. Okay. Now. Now, I do have a um, mod on this. I have the mod where um, it takes only one probe to get everything from the planets. It should work. I applied the mod before starting the game, so it should work without a problem. Let's test and find out. Launching probe. Research project. There it is. Great heavy pistols, nice. And cybernetics. That is the way to go. Fuck looking for everything. We can just go to each planet, use a probe, and... <laughs> Hell yeah. That's how you do it. Leave it to the... Uh, leave it to the players to fix the problems. Shotguns and medical equipment. Sure, it's cheap, but you know what? I don't care. Because it takes forever to, um, get everything, you know? And it costs so much money. Probe away. Yeah! 
Hell yeah. So worth in installing this mod. Probe away. Boom. <laughs> There we go. And here's the crash site. Anomaly detected. Probe launched. Scans have found something. There we go. Alright, we'll deal with the crash site first. Go ahead and get this done and get it out of the way. Before we meet up with Morton. This was originally a DLC for Mass Effect 2. You had to pay extra for it back in the day. But this is why I like Legendary Edition. You get everything in the game. You know? I always hated looking for these stupid dog tags because they're scattered all over the place. The best way to do it is to follow the walls. You know, and follow the rocks and stuff like that. You'll just make a full circle is what you'll do. And, um... Yeah, that, that's... I just do it for the experience and the... Um... Yeah, I just do it for the experience. I think you get, like, some extra credits for doing it, too. Here's where we place the monument. Okay. Here's a dog tag. Flashback of the old Normandy. I did I did like that. This was a that was a little that was a nice touch. That really was. That was a nice touch here on this. Having the flashback. Okay, we'll come up here first. Don't use your ammo. You can just punch the um, boxes to break them. Doggy tag there. There's 20 of them total. Why the dog tags are in these um, containers, I have no clue, but they are. Isn't there something up here? Yeah, it's Shepard's helmet. There we go. We'll take that. All that is, that's just a decoration for your cabin. See, now the SR1 had the cooler galaxy map than the SR2 does. And then here's uh, Presley's data pad talking about, oh, he thinks it's crazy that Shepard brought all the aliens aboard. Um, he got talking with Tally. She, he's learned that she's on her pilgrimage. Um, he's still unsure about her, but he's getting to be cool with her. And then um, he gets cool with all the aliens on the ship, and he couldn't believe he was being such a racist. <laughs> Here's a dog tag. 
Here's a dog tag. The M35 Mako. I can understand why they don't pick it up and take it with them. Why Shepard doesn't pick it up and take it with him. You know, because it's part of the original Normandy and it needs to lay in rest with the rest of the Normandy. You know? So, I mean, I, I do understand to a point, but still, it would have been useful. But the hammerhead isn't too bad, I don't, I don't think. I'm so glad they don't depend on it. Like what they did in the first game with the Mako. Okay, up here in the little alcove here is a dog tag. I've missed this one many times. Okay. Okay. Here's where Caden hung out a lot. Okay. Punch this one. I think that's... 17. Missed one over there. I always seem to miss one. I always seem to miss one. There we go. See, because they have them so damn scattered, you know. Um... And I still missed one. My guess... It's over here. Yep, here it is. We got all 20. Alright. I always like to get all 20. Why? Because... Um, I just like to do it, you know, it's just a nice thing to do. If I were Shepard, I'd do it. Okay. Now I'm going to search the rest of the, um, gal or the rest of the, I don't know if they're galaxies or star systems, whatever, in the Omega Nebula. Why don't we head this way first? Anomaly detected. Anomaly, huh? What do we got? Here we go. All right. Let's check out what's down here.
Whoops. There we go. I keep forgetting to change Miranda's outfit. Damn it. That's okay. Okay. So what do I want to be? Do I want to be a commando or a shock trooper? For commando, your killing intent is ever-present, increasing weapon damage and storm speed and giving a damage bonus to powers. Or we can be a shock trooper. Your survival instinct gr grants you an intense concentration that further increases weapon damage and storm speed and gives you a duration bonus to power. Um, we'll do damage. We'll be a commando. Okay. Okay, we got a med pack, a wall safe. We'll open the holding cell. Because that's where we're going. Okay, so pretty much what's happening here is one of the Cer Cerberus agents got captured by the Eclipse and they're um, torturing him to try to get information from him. And he's refusing to talk, so they killed him. God, I'm having a rough time here. All this just for some iridium? Or no, it's platinum, but still, I'll take it. Um... Okay. I'm just making sure there was nothing else here. Encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. We're going to upload it to the Alliance. Data uploaded to Alliance Command. <laughs> Fuck Cerberus. They're terrorists. 
Fuck him. <laughs> and you know what? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. We're gonna go upstairs so I can change my outfit. For one. And then I'll just check the messages while I'm up here too. There. Okay, so Anderson, he said thank you for sending us the intel. We can deal some serious damage to Cerberus. Admiral Hackett, hey, thank you for finding those dog tags and placing that monument. I want to see the trophies here. I think I've got them all, but, um, oh, incineration, overload, tactician, warp, okay. Okay. No messages for you, Commander. D, you think? I just checked them. Yoink. Probe launched. In research projects, uranium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Thank you, Edie. Launching probe. Boom. Thank you for all the stuff. <laughs> this is such a great um, mod to have. It really is. It's such a great mod to have. Only half our fuel remains. Yes, yes, I know. If we run out of fuel, it's not a big deal. ED will just take us back to where the fuel depot is, so it's not a big deal if we run out. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe. Okay. I'll head back over to the fuel depot. We barely made it. Okay. Now we're full on fuel again. I I both loved and hated this. I hated that you had to buy your own fuel and buy the um probes, but like I said with this mod, with the um probes only needing one probe to get everything on a planet, um, it balances it out. Cause now I'm gonna save a shit ton of money. Instead of having to look around all over the planet and use all those frickin' probes. Um I can just use one, you know? I don't know what they were thinking about that, but... Um... Maybe to make it more realistic, but... Fuck that, you know? It's a game, you know? Not real life. Not a real life simulator either, you know?
I'm gonna get so many resources, I'll be able to upgrade everything. Probe away. There we go. All right. We'll fill up on stuff again. That way then we don't have to do it later. There we go. Launching probe. God, I'm so thankful I got that, um, <laughs> that mod, you know? It makes the probes shoot faster, too. Probe launched. Okay, now we're ready to go get Morden and Zaid. why but I like Miranda in her bonus suit I think she looks cooler in her bonus suit uh, welcome to Omega you're new here aren't you I can always tell allow me to oh hello Mocklin I was just leave Fargot now oh, of course Mocklin whatever she wants Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay. Okay. Please. Ooh. -hoo. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive raids, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? 
I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. Right? Run, Forrest! Ooh! I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. <laughs> that ain't so badass. Okay, so we're gonna go to Afterlife. Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. <laughs> I want the five Paragon points, you know? Okay. So now we're gonna go around and look around afterlife. We're gonna get the bottle of brandy. Hey, it's Elena Blake. Commander Shepard, is that you? I I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always criminal, eh? Oh no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. That's more noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Okay. So Helena Blake straightened herself out. She's no longer a criminal. Shepard wants a drink. He's thirsty. Being dead for two years really makes him parched. Oh, he can't handle his own liquor. <laughs> Must have been some powerful moonshine. <laughs> Say something, Commander. What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. 
Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was puking blood. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. And salvage is so, yes. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting Leave, human. Tell Captain Gabon we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gabon. Why would I tell him anything? I trust you. Tell Gabon we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. I'll just be going. <laughs> Go away. Talk too much. Gabon stocks get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabon's tricks. We leave. Okay. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word if it's a heart. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut it, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Herrick for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Okay. Take the paddock. We'll take the shotgun, we'll take the couplings, and we'll take all these. Okay. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. Okay, so beans were a soldier, it's important we have our um weapons all upgraded. Two years after a geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colonists. I might have something here for humans. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. Take the armor. There we go. Get some upgrades. And here's Garrett. Okay. Tentatively excited. Oh, he's got a cigar in his mouth. I never noticed that. Can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the quarry over there. 
suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory, I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy. We'll take the armor. We'll take the gun. Take that hack module. I like to buy all the stuff in the shops. Now we talk to Ken. Tell him that we got hair to back off. Spoke to Harry. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. Take care of yourself. You too. Okay. Oh, we don't need to go to the VIP room. It's this way. I thought it was this way. Fuck it. No, I, I gotta find where it is. Oh, it was near Ken's. That's right. It was near Ken. What am I doing? It was near Ken's. Where the fuck is it? It's near Ken's. I'm being stupid. You know? That Matic is my favorite assault rifle. Even though it's only a one round burst, it's my favorite because I can control the firing rate, you know? I don't lose ammo quickly with it. There we go. That's where I was wanting to go. We're getting some payback. Do I know you? No, no. You humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you. Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan. You want a piece of me? I'll leave your cooks for the fortune. Uh. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> Bastard deserved what he got. Yes, he did. <laughs> Why is that so much fun? Why is that so much fun? Okay, so now we're gonna go see Arya. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the 
Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morton. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. Okay, so off we go to go get Morgan. This is the shortest way to get to the quarantine zone. Now that we got everything paid for at the market, we have all the upgrades and stuff. When we get more into the ship, we'll upgrade everything. Complaining is pointless, you. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Solarian named Morton Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Right? <laughs> Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. We'll bring Zaid just so I can get his points going. Um, since we're the commando, we'll let him be a mercenary commando so he can have more health. Oh, God, put on the Matic. Leave the katana.
Okay. Okay. Let me put on ammo for you too. Okay. I'm just checking for items. There's element zero. We'll take that. think there was anything over there um that station always scan your med station even if you're full on metagel um that way then you, you get credits <laughs> two headshots I used to be a, a really good sniper back when I was in my in my teenage years, you know, um, with Halo and all. I used to be a decent sniper. I'm just so far out of practice with the um, multiplayer games. That's what I need to get is a multiplayer game, an online multiplayer. I'm kind of looking at, um, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. I mean, I know that game is so old, but... I used to have so much fun playing it back in the day Try on PS3. Cancer, I wouldn't do the same. Okay. Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. <laughs> Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morton Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorture burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> I hope... <laughs> damn it! Damn you! Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Me. 
Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vortia immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vortia are immune to disease. <laughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vortia created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? That is Besides, true. The Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morton Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees. Offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, human. Okay. That's what we do. We're Commander Shepard. We help people. I wasn't sure about that one. Okay. All we did was steal some credits from that guy. He was already dead, so not like he needed him. <laughs> his ass though Shepherd. Good shot. I overcompensated there I got him though Ah, Saeed. Okay. Not a bad bit of firing. I mean, sure, I missed a few times, but, you know, it happens. That's where, yeah, that's where we go. So this one we need to open. H. T.
Let me get reloaded real quick. Oh, thank God, you're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. Right? Be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure, a doctor with military grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morton's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this, I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay, you're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Okay. So now, we're gonna get down to business, start killing more blue suns to get the Mordens. This is valuable. Huh. Assault rifle damage. We'll take that. We're gonna go up. That pyro, we're gonna have to... Boom! I got him right in between that thing! That was a cool shot! That was a cool shot. I didn't get that one though, but that's okay. Get that Krogan out of there. He's the big threat. Overcompensated. Got him though. Okay, we gotta go downstairs. I need ammo, so I gotta go downstairs. Overloading this is it. it seems we've crossed into Vorcha territory. The blue suns have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. Okay. The only thing about sniper rifles 
you run out of ammo really quick with them. So really, you can't really miss a lot. But, you see, I take enemies out with one shot, though, so... Here we are in the clinic. Good call. Professor, we're running low on some toxin. Use melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in materials. Supplements with butemerol. Found there in butemerol. Senesine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic bonds. Expensive domestic use. Nice. Not a joke capacity. I forgot about that. No, no, no. Demazine toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. We're just gonna steal all of Morton's stuff while we're here. <laughs> Professor Morton Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. Not enough. Data, equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not Alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma. Too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That sounded troubling. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from dead blue sun's marks. May come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Suns, Vorcha still battling, district not secure. See what I can do. Let's head for the environmental plant. Okay. Yes, good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here when you return. So that pistol we got, it is super powerful actually. It's a hand cannon. Um, it'll take out Vorcha like nothing. I just want to make sure. Well, I don't want to make sure. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Yeah, I have it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Other ways I eat.
disable their system. Heads up! He's charging! <laughs> Boy, where did you come from? That was pretty impressive that I took him out that far away. <laughs> Gambling terminal, we'll hack that for some free credits. There we go. Another bank terminal, we'll take that. There we go. Get me some more credits. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we'll kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Okay. Thank you. I thought they were gonna, gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... Well... Everything. Okay. But we saved Daniel. Run. Not your ass. Sit down. Boom. Boom. Flush him out, hopefully.
Okay, we got a couple more over here. I can't get a good shot at him. There we got him. We need to go downstairs, get some ammo, it looks like. There. Not too bad. You know, always fight from the high ground. Always fight from the high ground. Never ever fight from down here. Always fight from the high ground. You get better vantage points. You can take them out. Pop, pop, pop. You know? That's how you do that. We'll take the salvage. The environmental controls should be nearby. We need to insert the cure, then reactivate the fans. Right, we will do that. You get in here, though, we're going to have to fight some... Collectors want. Collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah. We've been spotted. Here we go. system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Looking for ammo, what I'm looking for. Excellent. The cure is in place. Now we need to reactivate the fans. Okay. Well, now, before we go down, I there's some ammo. But there's also a rocket fucker we need to kill. There we go. Boom. Got them both. <laughs> Okay. He goes. Night -night. God, his ass. Thought one was hiding. There we go. This fan is powering back up. We still need to activate the other one. One last. Damn it, Zaid, you got in my way. I had him lined up. Ugh, there we go.
I like to go far away. Okay. Boom. Take out the Krogan, he's the biggest threat. Not his ass. Not his ass. Not his ass. His ass. Got them all. <laughs> cool. Fans are online. Should be pleased. Yes, he should be. All right. Done. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you, Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go That's check true. Out patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorcha are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. Okay. So now we're getting boarding on our ship now. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Everyone you don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? 
Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Okay. We're gonna do some research here before, and then after that, I'm gonna have to call it for this video. But we'll take the assault rifle, the meta gel capacity, some prototypes. The weapon. Inferno armor. Disserator shotgun. Avalanche. And the missile launcher. Alright. Now that we got everything thus far for upgrades, I'm going to have to call it for this video. So I hope y'all had fun this episode. I did. Um, next episode, we're going to go after the Archangel. So, hope you all had fun. I will see you all in the next episode.